Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. And today, we're finishing our, up our look at Wave 1 of the Transformers Studio Series 86 uh, subline of a subline, etc, etc. Uh, this is Voyager Class Scourge, the Hunter. Uh, leader of the Sweeps, otherwise known as the Cannon Fodder for Season 3. Um, I got this figure from the uh, Command Store, Commander Store. It's, I think it's, it's a CMD store. Um, it's a website, um, which is the uh, online presence of a uh, retail store up in Champlain, New York. They also are on eBay, but you can basically find scourge at uh most online retailers and brick and mortar retail um right off the bat i have to say this the space boat mode mode is very cool uh very accurate to the movie um i think i'm going to go ahead and say that in terms of being a masterpiece buster yes with the caveat that we have not really seen a masterpiece figure from takara and hasbro yet of scourge um, in terms of included accessories, you do have this blast effect, which I do have some issues with. Number one, it really doesn't peg in well on the tip there. And number two, uh, with mine and uh, many others, it comes curved out of the packaging. Now, with Prowl, uh, Cyberverse Prowl and Cyberverse Starscream's blast effects, that curvature kind of worked well with the overall design. Here, I think it's also because of the twist, and it just looks off. It can also peg on to uh, Scourge's other accessory, which is his rep uh, reproduction of its uh, laser rifle, and... Well, first of all, putting it on that front bit kind of loosens up the connection here. But, yeah, you got to play with it a little to get it to look right. And, you know, it's really only from certain angles. And, yeah, you know what? I think having it on that front piece has loosened up the connection. I almost want to say, did it crack? But, needless to say, as with most other blast effects, um, I will have to keep this in packaging because... I have cat. And just for argument's sake, there are little ports back here. You can stick it on. And then also there are some holes in the back of this boat mode, which is also Scourge's feet, so you can have exhaust. But that really doesn't look right unless you have two, a matching set to go along. So we'll just put those aside for right now. Um, apparently there will be a repaint of some sorts of this as a sweep. I mean, it's kind of hard to justify troop building at the $30 price point, but what have you. Another problem I have is, and I'm not really sure what the problem is. As you can see, you have this, these bottom sections, and this one will not fold up flush all the way, or this one goes up too high. I mean, I can bring it down to match the other one, and that looks fine. Uh, if I don't drop it, but as soon as you put it down on a flat surface, that pushes up. Now, there could be some mold flash in the joint on this one that's not allowing it to go up all the way, or this one, there's the uh, natural lock just is a little too tight, but your mileage may vary. I've checked to make sure on the bottom here everything is pegged in and folded in correctly and flush and it is but i really don't know um what to do but again as i just said your mileage may vary now there is some things you can do in vehicle mode the first thing is you can come in here and flip up this front piece and that will reveal scourge's head as we know scourge in the sweeps on occasion um, have would fly around with their heads exposed. This was done on the Titans Return figure. You can just peg the head into the port. Um, the G1 figure, I think you just pop up the head or something. But a now this is the unofficial way. The official way is you actually have to start transforming the figure. And 
we're going to come in here and just unpeg everything from the side and bring these panels uh, up and out just like that there we go try to like a half seize just bring and you're gonna butterfly it out and you see there's a lot of work to do what I'm gonna do but uh, just like that and then what you're gonna do is you'll come in behind here unpeg this panel and bring it up ever so slightly that when you go to reclose uh, the panels here and make sure you have everything pegged in we'll talk about that when we get into the proper transformation there are slot tabs here slots that will now go uh, on the thrusters that will now uh, peg into the rear of the of Scourge's um, the, that panel and that will secure and everything else will close up as it was you know all that stuff and this is how they show you oh, close it up all the way fold this underneath and that's how they show you to do Scourge's exposed head mode. Eh, I mean, eh, eh, I mean that that that's that's basically eh. I mean, it seems like a lot of work just to do something that you're not going to do that often. Uh, I think it kind of looks a little bit better with just this panel folded forward because going back and watching the movie and the season and season three. His head never really comes up that high. So what we'll do now is we'll just pause right here and I'll come back and finish the full transformation to robot mode. All right, so as I said, we're going to go back and pop everything open. I'm going to flip out those panels, unpeg the um, boat pieces from the side. Um, as you're moving it, you'll probably just uh, loosen up the pegs here in the back and you're just going to splay these out all the way. Now, a few things to know going into from robot mode to boat mode is you want to make sure on the sides here, um, these panels right where my hand is are kind of pegged in. There's like a little T lock there. And if they're not, they are kind of hard to peg in getting it around the arm, but they have to, and they do fit quite securely. So you want to make sure they're done on both sides. So there's that. So now, and also make sure you unpeg the panel here from the back. Now, after you have all this open, uh, you can also go ahead and just fold those down right now if you want. They only go one way. I mean, they'll probably knock them down as you're going along. You're going to collapse this whole panel into the chest. So you just do it like that like this is accordion it all up you want to make sure scourge's head goes right in like that let me zoom out a little more just like that no gaps um fold this panel back down that will sit flush on the back and then what you're going to do is grab this back section of the booster and fold it away and that will tuck down into that panel. And while we're here on the head, go ahead and rotate the antenna around just like so for robot mode. And that'll give them its robot mode look. Now, a um, few things we can do now while we're, here, we're at this stage. Come in underneath, fold up those panels, come around the back, and you want to unpeg that, fold those up, Oh, not quite yet. And then you're not going to fold those up. Excuse me. You're going to fold, accordion it up just like that against the back here. Now, try to have it lined up in such a way that, you know, the panels are even. You know, there, there is, you, you'll, you'll feel the urge to go all the way down. And that look I mean, kind of looks okay. Like you're giving it a, um, 
like a swept back look. And then what you can do is come in and just fold the wings back so they're out of the way. You're going to need that room now. They don't really peg into place. Uh, but, and I know there's a few things you can do here in terms of if you want to clean up that tail. Um, I don't remember exactly how the cape looked. I don't know. I want to say it didn't have these sections hanging off, but that's really the best you can do with it. Uh, next, what you want to do, you know, again, we're, we're getting to a point here. You can do any of this in whatever order, but I like to fold the feet out. Uh, you're going to fold the toes out first, and now you're going to come in and fold out the heels. And there are little nubs on the outside that will help you, if you have a fingernail, get the... Um, Uh, get the pieces out rather tight by the way so you might need a little extra help if you don't have any fingernails but there you go so now you've got a somewhat deformed looking sweep um, unpeg the arms from the end of the legs and you're going to accordion them up these panels will peg in right there bring the arm down and I gotta tell you the first time getting them unpegged who nilly that was tight and just do that and now unpeg the legs and there you go here you have scourge leader of the sweeps in its robot mode right off the bat i gotta say great looking head very accurate to the animation i mean again you can play around the, with the wings you can if you want to bring them in a little like that keep them out I mean, they did move around a little. I've always liked the look of Scourge. And, you know, I was thinking about this. Doesn't he kind of look like a Cybertronian vampire? I mean, look at the fingers. You got those fingernails going. The pink, the cape. The, the, the goatee kind of gives me like a Dracula vibe. But um, you do have the left hand or right, if you're looking at it this way. Um, is molded open while the left hand or the right hand, depending on how you look at it, is a fist. Either one can hold the weapon. I should also mention that these also have wrist swivels, but but um, they are incredibly tight. I have heard stories of uh, breaking while trying to rotate them. A lot of people have gone in and opened the screw here and here, shave down the mushroom cap to, and they will rotate a lot better. I did a bad thing. I to rotate the wrist because they were kind of off center and they were affecting the transformation. I used the gun, putting it in the hand and twisting to rotate, especially this wrist. That is very dangerous. Do not do it. I've been told by several people I was wrong because that can lead to breaking the fist. Uh, other than that, you do have some ankle pivot right here. A uh, universal joint here at the hips. Really tight knee joint. You do have waist swivel. Uh, just like that. And universal joint in the shoulder. Swivel at the bicep. And a respectable elbow bend. And of course, as always, you do have... Well, no, I shouldn't say as always, but a rather expressive ball joint at the head. You know, it's kind of funny that in the movie, Scourge was a bit of a bad uh, tushy. But uh, in the cartoon... Uh, was him, he, it, and especially the sweeps were basically the whipping boys for Cyclonus and Galvatron. And as I mentioned at the beginning, you can plug the blast effect on. And unfortunately, like I, I mentioned, I did stretch it out from being pegged on that uh, tip, which they do show you in the instructions, but now it's a little loose. But I think with time, it'll just come back. It is a little cold here in New York, so that might help. But I'm just going to put it in the box because, again, Cat can't use it. But I really like Scourge. I think it's a great figure and really cool looking. So we'll pause, and I'll come back with my final thoughts. As always, uh, I like to end these with... Um, the studio figures on their base and i just gotta adjust this ever so slightly because i want you to see the full base because this is actually from uh 
the transformation of Thundercracker into Scourge. And as you can see here, you have Kickback, Kickback and Shrapnel being turned into uh, the sweeps. And I think this is just awesome. This is really cool. Be, it would have been interesting to see if they did Cyclonus in the studio series, uh, how they would have handled uh, that's that part of the transformation. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think Scourge is a fantastic figure. Yes, it's a little bit of a parts former, a be, uh, not parts former, but shell former. But that's really the nature of the beast in terms of getting the look. At least the shell becomes something, something functional that is iconic to the character, and that's its cape. Um, the joints are nice and tight, at least right now. As we all know, over time, that will loosen up. Again, nature of the beast. Um, but definitely, if you're a fan of the 86 movie, this is worth the pickup. Um, as I've said with a few of these um, movie figures, as you remember, Scourge was eventually turned into a target master. Um, my gut tells me that besides the repaint of of Scourge into a sweep, we have to see, and we probably will see this mold used again and as the target master. Um, maybe a convention exclusive, something over the summer. I don't know. Maybe more towards next fall, depending. But I just can't see them turning down the opportunity to get another use out of these uh, molds and characters. So that's about it for the review. If you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. While I will always appreciate the views above anything else, the liking, commenting, and subscribing communicates uh, to YouTube through their dedicated algorithmic uh, language that my channel should be promoted, exalted, and held upon high. If you really want to make the ultimate sign of support for my channel, please consider joining my Patreon. It's www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. A little link here in the card in the corner and a link in the description below. Uh, no thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing is helping me help you, help me to help you uh, keep this channel going buying figures, doing some updates to the infrastructure. But please keep in mind, this is not eBay. I'm not going to say that if I don't get enough enough money from Patreon, I'm going to shut the channel down or I won't be able to do certain things. I don't have, number one, I don't have that luxury because honestly, who's going to, would really care. But number two, that's just my style. So as I always say, if you can't do the $12 a year or a dollar a month, just watching my videos is good enough. Um, you know, it's funny. Next month will be my 10th anniversary of doing reviews. And I'm just so grateful and so humbled by all the support I've gotten over that time. But enough of that for now. Um, this is your old pal Chuck for Scourge. We will see you next time.